Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a eyebrow tutorial, how to fill in your brows using an eyebrow pencil. Um, I know some people it might come easy and some people it's challenging. Um, so I wanted to do a tutorial on how I fill in my brows. It's not the one and only way that you can fill in your brows. So, you know, if you're doing something that works for you at home, don't think that I'm telling you you're wrong. If it works for you and you love your eyebrows, then by all means keep doing what you're doing. This is just, um, tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and that work for me, so I thought I'd share them. So um, if you wanna see how I achieved my brow, then stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Ash. And for eyebrows, you wanna, the basic rule of thumb is you wanna go about one or two shades lighter than your natural hair color if you have darker hair. And if you are blonde or have lighter hair, you want to go about one or two shades darker. And I picked medium ash for my hair. It's a little bit lighter than my actual hair color. And it has that ashy undertone. That's better for somebody with a cooler tone hair like mine. Unless you have red hair, you don't want something that's going to be too warm. So you don't have to use a pencil. You can use um, a brow powder or an eyeshadow that matches. Um, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to be using this pencil. I'm going to comb through my brows first, comb them up. I'm going to zoom in a little so you guys have a better look. So once they're combed up, I'm going to lightly draw a line underneath my entire arch. I find it easier to do it in short little strokes rather than trying to draw one fluid line. And I like to try and stay a little bit lighter and softer during, uh, towards the front of my brow and then go a little bit heavier uh, towards the Okay, now you can see the difference. I've lengthened my brow a little bit because this one stops a little bit shorter. My brows tend to stop a little short, so you kind of want them to line up with the edge of your eye. And as you can see, mine fall a little short, so Bring it down. And you can go ahead and do that to the other eye or you can just do one full brow and then move on to the other. So I'm gonna just do one eye and move on to the other. So the next step is you wanna, we brush the hairs up, now we wanna brush them down. And we wanna do the same thing to the top that we did to the bottom, only I'm going to kind of start a little bit Further in, I'm not going to draw um, a straight line right on the end of my brow because, like I said, I want to keep it softer. I don't want this boxy brow. So I'm going to start about here. And again, soft, short strokes. And uh, my brows tend to kind of dip a little here and don't get don't grow as full as I want them to there. So I'm going to create the shape I desire and then meet those points together. Okay, now that part is done. Now I'm going to brush them back up into place, and you can see they're already looking a little bit better. And the next step is to just go in and in short little strokes fill in what we, um, the outline we just created. Usually, uh, using short hair like strokes. And you can keep brushing as you go along because that's going to soften the, um, the pencil a little bit. So 
so it doesn't look so harsh and drawn on. Now when I get to the front, like I said, I'm keeping it soft. So I'm just lightly doing little short hair-like strokes in the direction that the hair grows naturally. until I'm satisfied with the fullness. And then I go ahead and brush that through. And that's one eyebrow, so now you can see the difference. Now, I don't have very sparse brows as is, but you can see the difference of having a really precise brow and then having one that has some patchiness to it. And that's how to fill in a brow. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.